Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to share three of my favorite books to read around Valentine's Day to really get your students thinking about how they can show their love and appreciation for their friends, their family, and their classmates. Last year I shared a Valentine's video, It Looks Like This, where I shared two other Valentine's Day books and a few activities. In that video I shared about the book Love by Matt De La Pena, and I also shared the book In My Heart by Joe Wittick. Two great ones, and like I said, some um, fun activities in that video. I'll link it down in the description in case you want to check it out after this one. If you're ready to hear these three books, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. All right, this first one I'm sure many of you have heard of. It is an oldie, but a goodie. It is called Somebody Loves You, Mr. Hatch by Eileen Spinelli. This is such a beautiful book. It is about an older man named Mr. Hatch and he kind of does the same thing every day and the people in his neighborhood and that see him every day, they say he keeps to himself. He's pretty quiet. He does, you know, the same thing each and every day. One day, however, the mailman drops off this huge package and it's filled with Valentine's Day candy and a little white card and the card says somebody loves you. And when he sees this, he's a little surprised. And he's like, wait, someone sent me a Valentine? You know, this has never happened before. He kept looking at it and he said, oh my goodness. And look how happy he is that somebody loves him. So for the next couple days when he goes outside and goes about his daily business, he doesn't just keep to himself. He seems to have an extra little spring in his step. He likes to, you know, share his candy with everyone. He helps out neighbors and people at the grocery store. And he's really just making a lot of friends and having a lot of fun. But then towards the end of the story, the mailman comes back and he lets Mr. Hatch know that he's made a mistake and that the Valentine was not actually for him. You can see that Mr. Hatch is really sad because all of a sudden he's like, wait, nobody loved me after all. And he's kind of in his feelings and just really, you know, upset. And he goes back to his old ways of keeping to himself. And you can just see how sad he's feeling. But because he made all those friends and made so many people happy the days before, they all said, wait a second, what's wrong with Mr. Hatch? He doesn't think anybody loves him? Wait a second, we have an idea. And they planned a huge surprise for him, which really just made him tear up, feel so happy to know that somebody loves him after all. This is such a sweet book that really illustrates how it can feel when someone shows you that they love you and how excited and happy you can feel and why it's important that if you do love somebody, you let them know. Speaking of letting people know when you love them, book number two is also a favorite of mine. This is called A Little Spot of Love. It's written and illustrated by Diane Alber. And this is actually part of a series. There's a little spot of kindness, a little spot of confidence, happiness, anger, sadness, anxiety, and a little peaceful spot. Now, I like this book because it actually shows you some actionable steps and things you can do to express your love for someone. So in this book, you're introduced to a little spot of love and it explains that I'm the feeling you get when you care about someone or when someone cares about you. It also introduces some of the other dots that I mentioned from the other series before, and it shows that this little dot of love can get pretty big. This dot can grow and grow, and it shares some ways you can do this. It says how you can share your love with your words, by saying that you love someone, you can give them compliments, you can also write them a surprise note or a surprise letter. And I also love this book because it talks about self-love, um, looking at yourself in the mirror and really giving yourself, you know, words of affirmation to show how you can also show your self-love. In addition to using words, you can also show someone you love them by using your actions, like spending quality time or helping someone by showing that you're listening and being a good friend. These are all ways that you can show someone love. Again, I love that this book emphasizes self-love as well, and by finding a peaceful spot and doing things that you enjoy, also show yourself that you, you know, love yourself. It also mentions gifts like making cards and showing someone that you are appreciated and that you appreciate them, and how you can show love through hugs, high fives, and fist bumps. At the end of all these books in this series, I also like that there's a call to action. It reviews the words, actions, quality time, gifts, and affection as different ways you can show love. And then it asks you to think about your favorite way to grow a love spot. 
Again, I like this book because it is so actionable and I really take the time to have students think about some of the ways they like to show their love, but also some of the ways they like to receive love because those might be two different things. And the emphasis on self-love, love this book. All right, the third Valentine's Day book that I love is a relatively new one. It came out in 2019 and it is called The Love Letter by Annika Denise. I'll preface this book by saying that I like the connections I can make between this and Somebody Loves You, Mr. Hatch. So let me show you what I mean. This story starts off with a little hedgehog and it already mentions how he's always kind of in a prickly mood. So he maybe he's not in the best mood, but he finds this letter on the ground. And inside the letter, it's written to a friend and it's a love letter. After he reads it, he's so excited. And he says, my word, someone loves me. Again, reminds me of Mr. Hatch. And then he puts the letter in his backpack and goes on his way. But as he's on his way, he feels so cheerful and all his friends start to notice, hmm, hmm, he seems like he's oddly cheerful. He's in a better mood than he usually is. And you can see here where Bunny is hugging him, that letter falls out of his backpack. After he goes away, Bunny picks up the letter and she reads it. And then she says, oh my gosh, Hedgehog loves me. He wrote this letter for me this nice love letter as a friend. And then she's so excited and you can see how this love letter affects her. She feels really helpful today. She's just so happy. She goes home, she helps her mom and her sister and her dad, and she's just feeling so happy. She even goes and helps her friend, the squirrel. And he's thinking, wow, she's in a really helpful mood. And she accidentally drops the letter there. Then as you might guess, squirrel reads the letter and he thinks, oh my gosh, bunny loves me. And he starts to feel really carefree. He's normally anxious, but he starts to just feel totally at ease. He feels wonderful because someone loves him. Then they all meet up the next day and they start to feel a little, you know, shy and awkward because they're like, hey, you wrote me this letter, but you didn't actually say anything to me. So it's a little uncomfortable, but then they start to realize, hey, that's my letter. Wait a second, that's my letter. And they fight over it until it rips in half. Then they find out at the end that actually this little mouse wrote the letter and the mouse actually wrote the letter to the moon. Because as he explains, he's a very small mouse in a dark, dark forest and the moon brings him a lot of joy and safe feelings. After the little mix up, they realize, wait a second, we all do love one another and this is a wonderful mix up to have. This is such a cute one because it shows some of the different ways these animals react when they find out that someone loves them. And when they're feeling loved, they might feel different things. They might feel helpful. They might feel carefree and they might feel cheerful or just happy. And it's just another great one to really illustrate how we should really express our feelings of love and thankfulness to our friends and family. So there you have three of my favorite picture books to read right around Valentine's Day. And I really think they're great ones for kindergarten first and second graders to really think about the ways they can show their friends, their family members, their classmates that they love them. And with the book, A Little Spot of Love, they can also focus on some self-love and giving yourself words of affirmation as well. So I would love to know from you if you have heard of any of these books before. I have a feeling you've probably heard of this one if you have not read it already to your class, but have you heard of the other to and if not what are some of your favorite valentine's day books to read to your kids drop them down in the comments below we can get a good list going as always i hope you enjoyed this video if so please give it a thumbs up so i know make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click that bell that way you're notified of all my new videos this video is going to get added to a playlist called picture book suggestions. I have a few of them for different holidays and different skills that you might be teaching. So check out that playlist if you want to see more. See you in the next one. Bye.